Hi everybody, it's Eric and time for our video conversation. One highlight of the week as I've been out and about visiting companies and senior centers uh, and schools is I had my 250th classroom visit this week to Mr. Bell's class at Minnetonka High School. It's great interacting with really sharp uh, seniors and juniors and some sophomores actually, I think, in the AP Gov class, uh, Mr. Bell at Minnetonka. Certainly these folks are going to be future leaders in our society. We want to get involved in public service and strengthen our community, which was really neat to see them uh, uh, excited about that in, in government class. Let's get to the questions. First comes in from George in Plymouth. He says, Dear Eric, I am a senior at Wyzetta High School and will be heading to college next year. With various shootings of all types that have been happening around the country, I'm concerned about the safety of students on school campuses. I would like to ask that you continue supporting funding for school safety because it is a right for all of us to have an education and feel free in, uh, and feel safe in doing so. Best regards, George. George, thank you for writing and you are absolutely right. No student should live in fear of any tragedy or anything happening that would put them in an unsafe situation while they are at school or a parent who drops their student off at school. The good news is additional funding has been passed, now just signed into law, $1.5 billion going to school safety for schools to distribute on their own, whether it's mental health, additional security measures, important funding that is going to help in you know, many school districts across the country. Our next letter actually comes from Ross in Plymouth, who also writes in now. Dear Congressman Paulson, Israel faces an unprecedented array of threats from Iran's presence in Syria and Lebanon to the growing capabilities of Hamas and Hezbollah. I ask that you support $3.3 billion in security assistance to Israel as well as $500 million in missile defense funding for 2019. Thank you for your standing with Israel, our closest ally in the Middle East. Sincerely, Ross. Ross, thank you for writing. I have been a long, steadfast supporter of enhancing and strengthening the U.S.-Israel relationship, our best ally in the Middle East, such a strong democracy that embraces all of our values. And it, having been to Israel many times, I understand the importance and need for safety and security of its citizens. The good news is also here, Congress has uh, just passed, with bipartisan support, the U.S.-Israel Security Assistance Authorization Act. I actually co-authored this bill. It provides additional resources for a 10-year period for safety and security with new uh, systems over the next 10 years. Crucial funding essentially that makes sure that Israel retains its ability to defend itself in a very hostile neighborhood. Thanks everyone for joining. You can reach out anytime on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, of course on the website, paulson.house.gov. Have a great weekend and a great week.